So, Arsenal 3, Bournemouth 2. Absolute scenes in stoppage time. 98th minute, Reese Nelson with a rocket to put us five points clear after going 2-0 down. One goal in f- nine seconds. And uh, looking like we had thrown it, looking like Man City were right back in it. Two points behind it would have been. And um, two nil down, we're like, oh, my days, this is all off. It's all off. We've ruined it. And then we get back in the game, Thomas Party, Ben White from a, a, mm. an assist, two, two subs combining. And, um, and then right at the end, what a game. I just spoke to Kenny. He said, like, people were in the stadium. They were crying and there was limbs everywhere. And it was just like everyone in the ground for half an hour after the game finished. So good times, man. What did you make of that, Jez? Well, I'm an absolute shock. Um, when, I, when I was watching that on the old channel, Bing Sport, uh, I suddenly thought, they're going to score here. And they did. And I was like, no way. No, no that can't happen. You know what I mean? It, it was just tr- unbelievable. I mean, fair play to Bournemouth. They caught us on our back foot there and uh, scored, a, you know, well, it just took us apart there. And then I could see, it, you know, to me, Lee, I think, I just said to you before, I think that really shocked Arsenal. Uh, we were on our back foot <clears throat> all the way through that first half. And there was some absolutely awful performances in that first half. Let's that's, that's mm. put it right. Um, and then we went 2-0 down. But it's even further on our back foot. But credit to where credit is due. He made the right substitutions and uh, Arsenal clawed it back. And what an epic end to the game. Um, I, I, you know, we got in, we're getting into the last, what, 90th minute, 2-2. Two, two. Well, I thought, well, we're going to get a point. That will be three points clear of Man City. And then bing, bang, bosh, and we're... What a goal. Five clear. What a goal. <laughs> With 12 games to go, man. And um, mm. the, like, like I said, the scenes at the end, I mean, I think every single person that was watching that game, when it got to the eighth minute of stoppage time, thought, well, that's that then. Yeah, that's mm. that. They've dropped two two points today. It is what it is. We're still clear, but three points is not as good as five points uh, over mm. City. And then, mate, the scenes. I mean, I nearly tripped. I nearly tripped over the table when I was celebrating. <laughs> I literally oh, no, stubbed my toe right on the and this table. The leg on it's a big, thick, wooden, solid leg, mate. My toes in bits. It ended up laying on the sofa. <laughs> but it was mad. But the scenes, like the fans at the end of the game, you could see them on TV. There were thousands, all pretty much a full stadium still at the end. That was a massive, massive victory because Man City put the pressure on us by beating Newcastle. So now we mm. had to go out there and, and re- respond. And for 60 odd minutes, it didn't look like we were going to. It was like, well, that's it then. We've got all this. So a team that were 19th, I think, when the day started. And, mate, to turn it around, yeah, I, I like the fact that we just keep going and going and going and going. And and you can see what it's done for them players, like the celebrations at the end. I mean, Gary Neville would be crying his eyes out seeing that, wouldn't he? <laughs> but he the celebrations, yeah, for the fans, for the manager, for the for the players, yeah, that, that is a massive, massive win. That's probably the biggest win we've had this season. Yeah, that's probably bigger oh. than Villa. Yeah, because Man City put the pressure right on us today. Yeah, and, and that Villa game, we, we put it on Man City and they drew with Forest. Today, it was the other way around. They beat Newcastle and now the pressure's on us. So, massive victory. And that, that psychologically for Man City and them players, they must have been sat there going, yep, that's two points dropped for them. And now, mm. we're five clear still. Absolutely. I mean, this, you know, this fan, these fan cams you're doing tonight could have gone one or two ways today. We could either have been sitting here like depressed, pissed off, uh, fed up, ruined our evening, or what we are now, we're buzzing. And that is all credit mm-hmm. to this football team. That just shows they are playing for the badge. And they're playing for the club at last. And that is all you can ever, ever, ever ask of any player at Arsenal Football Club. And, you, and you're quite rightly, you can see what it meant to those players which says to me, these players really, really want this. They really want this. And I can ask of no more than that. And I'm absolutely chuffed for them. I'm chuffed for the fact we won again under difficult circumstances. And fair play to Mr Arteta. You know, he did the right thing, uh, making those subs when he had to. Uh, Shame about Trossard uh, going off injured. I blame... 
personally, I blame Zinchenko for that because he was out of position. <laughs> Miles was out of position. Um, and Trossard had to sprint back, and he's obviously done something to a muscle in his groin or wherever, um, which we know can be a, na a naughty injury. So he's probably going to be out for a few weeks now, which is a great shame. Um, but it's a great win, and we take it. You know, at the end of the day, we take it. Mm, yeah, mate. I said, I said after the Everton game, I couldn't care less how we win. Uh, I, my heart might, my heart might care <laughs> because I, I might not see the trophy parade or or the end of the season, mate. If they keep doing it like that, but I couldn't care less. It's it's not about the performances now. It's about you know getting the result. That's all that matters. Yeah, and getting over the line and getting over and getting over and we're doing it and they're playing to the final whistle, which is something that we haven't seen until this season. You know, and, yeah. and last season we would have lost that game. Yeah, if we were two 0 yeah. down to them, that could have been three or four. Yeah, and it could have been three or four today. Luckily, Ramsdale was on point, mate. That save he made when it was one nil, yeah. unbelievable save. Like, and you know, defensively, we've looked all over the place today. And I hope that we sort that out because we're going up against Fulham away next in the league. And Mitrovic yeah. is a handful. So if we're getting bullied by their striker, yeah, let's let's not forget that they've got Mitrovic at Fulham, and they've got some decent little tricky wingers. William coming back as well who's in good form for them this season. So it's not going to be easy, man, but we've got 12 more games. I don't care how we win it, Jez. We have to win this league this season, mate. We do. And, and you know, we've seen it before. We, we don't have to play the um, fabulous, sexy football that we were back in um, the two, back in the early 2000s. Sometimes, I'm not, I'm not and I am going to say this, actually, we, we won again today. We won ugly. It wasn't great football. It wasn't pretty today. It was a battle of wits. And we got over the line of it. And we can only ever ask for that, Lee. And this is and this is the thing. Uh, we've been criticised for a very long time of saying negativity. Well, I am positive. But the fact of the matter is, this is all we've ever, ever, ever asked for, is to challenge. Mm. And we are challenging. And we've been challenging since the start of the season. And we're still there now. And it's we and look we've how happy it. we've been, Jez. Look how happy and positive we've been that we're doing what we've wanted us to do. <laughs> yeah. So as soon as yeah. the club do what we wanted them to do, we're happy. That's all we've wanted. Exactly. Exactly. That's all we've ever asked for. And all those um people out there that have criticized us, slagged us off, you know, well, maybe you have a point, but the fact of the matter is, we've been there, seen how good Arsenal can be. And at this point in time, we're seeing that. And that's all we mm -hmm. ever want. And that's all we, all that the fans at the Emirates want. You know, the diehards that go home and away every week. Fair play to them and respect. And I'm so happy for them. That must have been amazing today in that stadium. Oh, Ken, Ken wish said I... it was insane, mate. He said, he said the roof, well, there ain't a roof. He said, but if there was one, it would have, it would have come off. He said mm -hmm. it was bouncing. He said the stadium was shaking. He said people were falling down the stairs. Like literally, cry, people crying, like mad. But that's what it's about, Jez. Like we've yeah. we've seen Arsenal do this. We've seen Arsenal win league titles. Yeah, so we know that yeah, there's a bloody good chance we're going to win the league this season because we've seen it. We've done it before. We we know when we're good enough to win a league. We're good enough this season. Yeah, hundred percent. We're good enough. I've seen enough from them all season after twenty odd games, twenty six games. We are definitely going to win this title. I can see it already. Yeah, Man City. Yeah. They're a great team and they've got a great manager and great players, but the same not right with them. You, you just don't get that vibe with them this season that they're going to win it. Yeah, whereas with us, maybe it's because we're the underdogs. I don't know. You just see everyone at that football club right now. Everyone is on the same page. We're winning it no matter what. Yeah, I don't care how we yeah. do it. We'll have Eddie Nketiah yeah. up front. Then he'll, then he'll be missing. We'll have Jesus out injured. We'll have Party injured. We'll have all these little things that have come across the season. It doesn't matter. We're still top. We were, we were five points clear before the World Cup. We're now five points clear in March. Mm. And chalked off all them games. 12 more games, mate. 12 more games. If we go into April, still five points clear. It's, it's ours. You might as well just engrave the name on it. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, you know, this is the fact. What I like is the fight and the passion I'm seeing. You know, I haven't seen this for oh, a long time in Arsenal Football Club. Um, the fact that um, we've done it in a few FA Cups. I know we've come back like we did at Hull, two 0 down, come to win it, fair play. The FA Cups, is, Cup finals are different games, 
Um, but today, and like against Villa, and 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 you know, we, we just absolutely, in the end, the intensity that Arsenal were playing when we've done the right substitutions, we just overran uh, Bournemouth, and they had no answer to us. And mm. the first half, we I think we were shell shocked. Personally, I think it shocked everybody. I mean, when I saw that goal go in, I thought, what? No way! Unbelievable, you know, isn't it? I was like, I think that's the second quickest goal in Premier League history or something like that. Mm, um, nine seconds. Yeah, I think the first one was seven seconds. But, um, I mean, it was just a shock. And as you said, um, you know, towards the end, when that goal um, went in from Reese Nelson. I mean, I, I have got a, a minor heart condition. I swear <laughs> to God. I thought my che- my heart was going to come out of my chest. Seriously, I just seriously mad. did. It was scenes, um, mate. But moments like that, we had a moment like that with Danny Welbeck against Leicester, yeah, mm. 2016, and we didn't capitalise on it. Yeah, that, that's like a Danny Welbeck moment there, like where we've scored. Yeah, I know it's against, it's not against the team that's in the title running. Yeah, but it's still a big, big, big goal, man, because it changes everything. Yeah, if we didn't win that game today, all of a sudden it's doom and gloom. The players are down in the dumps. The manager's down in the dumps. He's fuming. The fans are a little bit, oh, well, you know, maybe we are overdoing it and we should just be top four. Yeah, instead, and then Man City get the up as well. But now, instead, it's now chests out. We're winning it. Yeah, now everyone's like buzzing again. And that can only be good for us, imagine man. Now those, like, we've got... no, sorry, sorry. Um, no, no, go on, mate. Imagine how those fans are floating home today. They're not walking home. They're floating home. And mm. you can imagine how those players feel today after being 2 0 down, shocked in the first half, and now they're going to go home, pump chests out, you know, absolutely buzzing it. Um, I, I, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. Absolutely love it. That's what the game's all about, mate, winning. But listen, we're going to do player ratings in a bit. Uh, Jez's channel yeah. link will be in the description, people. We're marching on 12 games to go. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> 